Hey lock lovers and lock kings and queens, welcome back to another lock video. You guys hear um, noise, it's because my two year old son is right here beside me um, doing a learning video while I'm, making, while I'm making this video. So that's what that little noise is. Today I'm going to be giving you all five tips to help you guys before you start your locks. So this is for all of the people who you're thinking about locks, you're strongly considering it, but you just kind of want some extra tips, you know, things that you feel like you should know before you start your locks. Or maybe you have just recently started your locks and you're like, man, I wish these were things that I knew before. Maybe, maybe not. Okay, so the first tip that I'm going to give you guys is, to me, I feel like one of the most important tips and that tip is make sure that you are doing this for you. I cannot stress this tip enough. I have talked to so many people, I've heard so many people, and I've seen so many people on videos and everything and they started their locks because someone said that it would look good on them. That is not a good reason to start locking your hair. This has to be something that you wanna do for you. This has to be something that you know, you've decided and you've made a conscious decision to say, you know what, this is a journey that I want to take. Not a journey that someone else wants to live vicariously through you. Um, that's just not a good reason, you know. Oh, well, you know, my boyfriend said they would look good on me. Or, you know, my friend said that, you know, I would look good with locks. No, make sure that you are locking your hair for you. So you need to have your why. You need to figure out why you're locking your hair before you actually start. Um, because that is really going to help determine how this journey is going to go for you. I knew that this was something that I really wanted to do for me and because of that, because I wasn't trying to please anyone else or anything like that, I care what other people thought, um, this journey has just been so liberating and freeing for me um, because my you know, decision and my why was for me. Tip number two, do your research. Please, 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 baby, please. Do your research. Um, if you do not do your research, you are going to be susceptible to anything. There are so many people who are locking their hair and they have not done proper research and they're locking their hair and they're asking simple basic questions that they should know the answer to. And I'm not saying, you know, you need to be a lock guru because clearly, you know, we're going to learn as we go along, but you should just not, you shouldn't get locks and you just know nothing about locks, period. That's not a wise decision. You need to do your research um, because if you do not do your research, any cosmetologist, any loctician will tell you anything and you'll believe it because you feel like, oh, well, they're a loctician or they do hair or, you know, whatever. And so they must be right. And that's not true. I had someone tell me that I needed to wait five months to wash my hair, at least five months, because dirty hair locked faster. Um, and I was like, I know that's not true. I know that's not true because I've done my research. So if I had not done my research, I would be five months in the game with some smelly hair. So it's, you know, it's vital that you do your research. Tip number three, know what type of locks you want. This is so important because if you want, let's say, freeform locks, then you don't need to go to a loctician and get someone doing like diamond parts and brick parts and things like that because you want to do freeform locks. So you need to research freeform locks and, you know, know, decide which method is best for you. If you want to do semi-freeform, you may go about a different way. If you want to have sister locks, you know, um, all of those things matter. So you need to know what type of locks you want. Um, and how you want to maintain them. For instance, if you get sister locks, you cannot self-maintain them. You have to go and get them serviced by a professional. So it's very important that you know what type of locks you want, what type of parts you want, what size parts you want, if you even want parts or not. That's very important to know what type of locks you want. Okay, tip number four, start with your natural hair texture. I know that there is controversy out about that and there are people who are saying they've started locks with relaxed hair and things like that. I don't know about that, but to me that just defeats the whole purpose and that's crazy and your locks are going to be limp and they're not going to lock properly. You need to start off with your natural hair texture. Locks are natural hair, you know, so you want to make sure that you're starting off with your natural hair texture. Um, you want to make sure that um, 
you're not straightening your hair to lock your hair you want to start off your locks in its natural state so make sure that you start off your locks with you know your natural hair texture in its natural state and tip number five my final tip is to start your locks with clean hair start your locks with clean hair and make sure that you um have prepped your hair you know if leading up to you actually getting the locks so you want to start your locks with clean hair don't start your locks and you have a bunch of gunk and you haven't washed your hair in four months and things like that you're not going to you're going to start your locks with buildup basically um and then you want to make sure that your hair is um you know just in its best condition if your hair is already breaking off and it's like thick and then it gets thin and then it's limp and it's suffering really bad um and it's just really dry and damaged and it just looks like that it's hanging on by a thread you may not want to get locks right now you may actually want to take care of your hair properly first deep condition it you may need to trim it you know all that um the hair that is breaking off off you know make sure that your hair is in the best possible condition before you actually start locks because you don't want to start your lock journey with hair you know that is unhealthy because doing that you're just going to start off with having unhealthy locks and that's not going to be a good or fun journey for you. Okay so I hope that this video was helpful to you all. Um, if you guys like this video please give it a thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for all of your support. Thank you for subscribing to this channel. I love you all and if you have any video suggestions here's my son. Say hi Boogs. She hi. She hi. <laughs> he's tired but if you guys have any video suggestions or any comments you can leave them down below um and i will definitely get back to you guys love you so much and i'll see you all in the next lock video Mwah, bye